In the last couple of years, China has exploded as a producer of high quality, low cost automatic watches. Now, most of these watches tend to be homages or copies of other more prestigious or famous watches. But there's one Chinese brand that's actually been in the business for quite a long time, and that's Siegel Watches. And today I'm finally gonna get to check out some watches from Siegel. Now they really wanted me to look at these watches because their AliExpress 1111 sale is coming up, but I had my own reasons in checking these ones out because they have a particular feature that I really like and I don't see used often enough. Let's take a look at what they sent over. Hey guys, welcome back to Just The Watch. My name's Dave, I live in Japan, and I love to collect affordable watches. And today we're gonna to be checking out some watches from Siegel, which make some great affordable watches. They actually sent over two of them that are very similar in the overall design and functionality. They have the same movement, the same layout, uh, but very different in terms of how they actually look. The one we're gonna check out today is more of a sporty, military-inspired look, whereas the other one has kind of more of a dress watch aesthetic. And Siegel is a brand I've been interested in checking out for a while. In fact, they were the first Chinese brand that really came onto my radar. And that's because they have a lot of history and heritage. They've been making watches for well over 50 years. And not only are they a watch manufacturer, they're also one of the world's largest mechanical movement manufacturers. Siegel supplies a lot of movements to brands like Sterling Original or Fossil to be used in their lower cost automatic watches. And chances are, if you've seen an affordable skeleton watch, it probably has a Siegel movement inside of it. And I think the movements that Siegel uses in their watches is both a major selling point for their watches and kind of a question mark. Siegel has just a huge variety of movements that they manufacture from very low cost, affordable movements that are kind of cheap and maybe not that reliable to very high end movements with complications like tourbillons, which really allows them as well as other manufacturers and micro brands to produce watches with all kinds of complications that you normally wouldn't be able to do unless you spent a lot more money. This watch that we're gonna be taking a look at today I think highlights that well. It features the Siegel ST2502 automatic movement, which has a multifunction complication on it. And it seems to be a pretty decently performing movement. I'm getting about plus seven seconds per day as far as accuracy goes, and everything else about it feels pretty solid as well. And Siegel has packaged this movement into a watch that also has a sapphire crystal, pretty decent build quality and nice finishing, all for around $200 and on the AliExpress 11 and 11 sale, I think it drops all the way down to $171. Now these watches were given to me by Siegel for free, which is why you saw the paid promotions flag at the beginning of this video. However, other than the watches themselves, Siegel did not provide any compensation for this review, nor did they provide any input into the content of this review. So let's jump in, take a closer look at this watch and see what kind of value we can find in it. Now, there are a lot of interesting things to talk about this watch, but first let's go over some basic specifications and dimensions. This is a pretty big watch with a 43 millimeter case, 51 millimeters lug to lug, and about 13 and a half millimeters tall. But I think that size actually goes pretty well with the kind of military pilot watch style that they're going for here. And it wears fine on my seven and a half inch wrist. It definitely has a lot of wrist presence, but I don't feel like it looks oversized on my wrist at all. But if you have a smaller wrist size, that 51 millimeter lug to lug might give you some problems with the watch overhanging the side of your wrist and giving you an awkward fit. Now, this being a watch produced by Siegel, it of course does have a Siegel Chinese automatic movement inside of it. And this one is a multifunction movement. It's the ST2502. This movement has a standard beat rate of 21,600 beats per hour. It features hacking and hand winding, and it gives you an expected 40 hours of power reserve. Siegel also makes some of the best looking movements in this affordable price range. They definitely look better than your Seiko NH35s and even better than a lot of Miyota movements. And you can really appreciate the decoration and finishing that's gone in this movement through the see-through case back. And this particular movement is a multifunction movement, so that means that it features some of the complications on subdials. In this case, you get a day and date display, each on their own separate subdial, 
with the date being at three o'clock and the day being at nine o'clock. And Siegel has done kind of a clever thing here by using the format and silhouette of a chronograph watch. And what I mean by that is that you have these two subdials that look like they're chronograph subdials and the watch also features two pushers above and below the crown, which look like chronograph pushers, but they're not. You actually use these pushers to activate the different functions on the watch. The top pusher at two o'clock isn't actually a pusher at all. Rather, it's a crown that activates the internal rotating 12 hour bezel, while the bottom pusher activates the quick set date. So when you push that bottom pusher, the date at three o'clock is going to advance. Now, I haven't had an issue of accidentally pressing that and advancing the date when I didn't want to, but I'm sure that's something that will probably come up if you wear this watch daily and could be a little bit of cause for concern. And on the opposite side of the watch, there's a hidden pusher that can be activated with something like a toothpick to advance the day of the week at the nine o'clock subdial. And the reason I think this is kind of clever is because a lot of people are very interested in having automatic watches in their collection and they like the look of a chronograph watch, but it's very expensive to get an automatic chronograph. If you're building an affordable watch collection, most people are gonna be kind of priced out of that. So interestingly enough, this gives you a watch that looks very much like a chronograph watch. It has an automatic movement inside and it's not technically a fake watch. You know, you, the, the pushers all do something. They do something useful. They're integrated into the movement. They're not just decorative. It's a little bit gimmicky, but again, I think it's kind of a cool, clever thing. Now, the main feature of this watch that really interested me was that combination of a 12 hour rotating bezel and 12 hour Arabic numerals. And this is really my favorite layout for a dual time watch. Don't get me wrong, I love watches with GMT movements. They're some of my favorite out there, but there's just something about that combination of 12 hour bezel and 12 hour Arabic numerals that I find really intuitive to use and easy not only to tell the time in two different time zones, but to use it for looking up the time uh, in the future in two different time zones. A lot of people nowadays, myself included, often will schedule appointments and meetings to talk with people in different time zones. And it's always kind of a struggle to figure out, you know, what, if I wanna have a meeting at 9 a.m. tomorrow in Japan, what, what what time is that going to be in Texas or California or something like that? A watch with a GMT hand will tell you what time it is right now in a separate time zone, but if you have a watch with those two 12-hour scales that are set, you can just look at the dial of your watch and then reference what the bezel is at any time on the dial, and it'll tell you what time it is in the second time zone. And you don't even need any sort of a complicated, fancy movement to get that functionality. And so all in all, this is a watch that packs a lot of functionality into an automatic watch at a very affordable price. You're getting a watch that not only tells the time, but it gives you both the day and the date displayed on the dial and the ability to track a second time zone. In theory, this would make it a great traveler's watch or just a great watch to have if you are often trying to keep track of things in two time zones at once. But one pretty big drawback to this is that the text on the inner rotating bezel is very small and difficult to read and really reduces the usefulness of that complication. And that was by far the biggest issue that I had with this watch. There was one other problem, but that's fairly easy to remedy, and I'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's talk about the design of this watch, because that's another thing that I think is really interesting and very appealing. And I think it's something that kind of sets Siegel apart from a lot of the other Chinese watch brands out there. To the best of my knowledge, this is an original design. At least it doesn't look like any other watch that I've seen before. And it is a good design. This is a very appealing watch. It has this kind of stealth military look to it. I like the color that they've gone with, with this all blacked out case and blacked out dial with a softer brown paint on the markers and on the hands. The case is very simple, but the finishing is good with a fine brushed surface that can be seen under the black coating. The watch also features a fixed flat coin edge bezel that while it doesn't add any functionality, I think it does contribute to the tool-like aesthetic of this watch. And the overall finishing and quality control on this watch looks great. The handsets are cleanly cut, the printing is crisp and sharp, and the action on the crown and pushers all feel great. The watch also looks great in the dark and even has a nice surprising bicolor loom layout. All of the hands, including the tips of the subdial hands and the second hand glow in green, while the 12 hour markers on the dial glow in blue. And this was really surprising because in the light, they all look like they have the same kind of light brown color. And the brightness and longevity of the loom is actually pretty good for a watch in this category. It's certainly not gonna match the performance of a good dive watch, but it'll hold its own against most of the field watches and pilot's watches out on the market. Add in the fact that this watch also features a sapphire crystal and you have a pretty interesting package for this sub $200 price point. 
I would say that compared to most other automatic watches in this $200 price range, this watch is excellent when it comes to the design, the specifications, and the finishing. But the long-term reliability of that Chinese movement might be a little bit of a question mark, and I would tend to prefer the Japanese movements in this price range. But if you're gonna go for a watch with a Chinese movement, I think Siegel is definitely the best one to go for. Now, the one other thing that I really didn't like about this watch was the strap. This is one of the cheapest straps that I've seen. It's branded as genuine leather, but it's a very cheap leather that has a very plasticky, squeaky finish to it. And I couldn't really tell the difference between this and, yeah, a fake polyurethane leather. The buckle on the strap is nice with the black hardware that matches the finish of the case. But even still, I would be looking to change this out to a nicer strap pretty quick if I got this watch. And with the very standard 22 millimeter lug widths, it's going to be very easy to find alternative straps. So overall, this is a pretty interesting watch. It's definitely not your standard Chinese homage. It's got its own character, its own style, its own design. And I think it is an appealing design and a very appealing package that they put together here. And I think particularly if you can pick it up on that 1111 sale and get it for around $170, it's a pretty great deal. The only questions I have is how it would hold up long term because this is my first experience with a Siegel watch and I've had it in, you know, for just a couple of weeks. So only time will tell how the build quality holds up over a longer period. Now Siegel did send over two watches, so I'm going to be taking a look at the second one in a future video, so stay tuned for that. The other one is a very interesting looking one. It kind of fixes some of the flaws I see in this one, but has others. We'll get into all that in the next video. But for now, that's going to wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys think of Siegel in general. If you've had a long-term experience with any of their watches, definitely drop a comment down below. Help the other guys out in making those purchasing decisions. And let me know what you think of the design on this watch itself. Finally, if you're interested in getting a cool watch-themed t-shirt or sweatshirt like this one that I've got on here, you can check it out at justthewatch.com. But that's going to wrap up for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.